guys, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> Just gotten ready for work. Yes. We have one more energy drink, which I'm going to need. These energy drinks are from Aldi and they're literally like a dollar twenty or something. They're so good. I'll take that and I'm gonna take a banana. Sounds good. I'm heading to the airport today because I'm on airport standby and then tomorrow I'm on call so I could potentially be put on a one day trip or a two day trip. Just depends what's available and what they need me to do. But it's 5 a.m. and I start at 6 a.m. So I'm gonna leave like right now. I'm not a fan of earlies. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Bree. I work as a flight attendant in Australia and I vlog my life on YouTube for you guys. Let's get to work. Let's see what my company has in store for me today. seen that I did actually get put on a trip. I got put on a four sector day trip. I did a coolie return and then I did a Hobart return. I'm home now. Oh my gosh, it's like 35 degrees. It's so hot and it's currently 4.50. I'm gonna start driving so I miss all the peak hour traffic on the way home. <laughs> it's the next day today i'm on call for work so i'm just hanging at home i've had a pretty chill morning so far as you would have seen i just had brekkie and yeah just getting on with the rest of my day i have a very computer heavy day today and then Brad and I have actually booked a hotel down in the Mornington Peninsula for tonight because we're actually filming a wedding down there tomorrow. We thought it'd be better just to stay down there the day before because it's about a like two hour drive from where we live. So that would have potentially been four hours of driving for us in one day plus like 12, 13 hours of work on top of that. Yeah, it's just not attainable. So we booked that and I'm hoping that I don't get called today <laughs> because I wanna go early and like check in and like get settled and organized and all that kind of stuff and kind of chill down there for the rest of today check-in is at three so i'll probably leave here probably just before three i reckon because i'm on call today until 3 p.m but i have some really exciting news so if you followed me the last couple of vlogs you will know about my journey in getting a new iphone i end up getting scammed i like ended up replacing my old iphone because it was cracked but i recently got the new iphone 14 which I'm so excited about. I got it two days ago and I'm so freaking happy with it. I think it's beautiful. And I wanna talk about the deal that I got because I think this would actually really help a lot of people. This is what I did, not sponsored at all, but Apple has this deal and it's a deal with Vodafone. If you go to an Apple store, purchase an iPhone 14 and sign up as a Vodafone member, then you get $1,000 off your iPhone. And that's what I did. So basically I got $1,000 off this and I'm gonna sell my old one for like, $800 so really this only cost me like $200 to upgrade which is amazing and also if you're a flight attendant Vodafone has this thing where it has international roaming for only $5 a day I've been wanting to change to Vodafone because at the end of last year I did a few of the short haul international flights to Bali and Fiji but I was previously with Optus and if I was to do any sort of roaming with Optus if you know you know like you send one text and it costs you like $150 like it's just absolutely ridiculous so I wanted to go on to Vodafone because I wanted to have the option to do international roaming and I think that would really help with the potential trips that me and my husband are going to take this year because we're going to be going to some international destinations and that way we don't have to necessarily buy a sim and go through all that process and something that I've learned from traveling is how important it is to have internet access <laughs> not only for like your own safety but also for directing yourself around places and googling and researching places that you want to go and stuff like that. I'm really happy about this purchase and I wanted to share it on here not to brag or anything but I really wanted to share this deal that I got because it's a really good deal. I need to get some computer stuff done and then I'm gonna drive down to the Mornington Peninsula and chill down there. So it's 3.30. I've survived my airport standby which is so good and I've actually just gotten ready, packed all my suitcase and stuff and I'm gonna head down to Mornington. We're staying at the Mornington Hotel tonight. It's gonna take me about about two hours to drive there right now. Let's go. 
So I just got into my room, but I almost wasn't able to check in because it was booked under Brayden's name and apparently he has to be here and they have to cite his ID and stuff and all that kind of stuff. So luckily I was able to just give them like all his information so that they could let me in. Brayden's not getting here until like 10 p.m. tonight because he's on a shoot for a brand today. So it's just me, but I wanted to like drive down here and check in early and like get dinner and watch the sunset and like chill by the beach a bit. That's what I'm gonna do. The drive was long and I'm really hungry, so let's get dinner. dinner now i'm just going for a walk around this mornington park place just where the pier is and it's so beautiful it's so gorgeous oh i cannot deal yeah i just wanted to go for a walk get my steps up a bit because i've been sitting down all day but it's so nice i love this part of victoria it's so beautiful i don't think i'll stay till sunset because i probably should get back to my car before my parking runs out <laughs> oh my gosh look at this dropped by the shops before I came back to this hotel room and I picked up a few little snacks because when we're filming all day it's just good to have snacks to keep you going. I got some Chobani yogurt, I got a nut mix, I got two bananas, these potentially could be for breakfast as well, some Oreos. <laughs> so I think that will keep us going for the day. I'm probably just gonna have a shower, I've got to wash my hair desperately and get ready for bed. Guess who's here? Brayden. Guess who's tired? Good morning, guys. What's the view like out here? Mm, yeah, not too exciting either. So we had an issue this morning. We forgot that checkout was at 10 o'clock and we don't have to be at the wedding until 11.30. So we didn't even think about checkout. We just literally- We were just taking our good time. We are just taking our yeah. time. Braden went to the shops and I was like still in bed when like they knocked on the door and was oh, like- in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and they knocked on the door and they're like, housekeeping, like you have to be checked out now. I was like, oh, sorry. We literally just left as soon as we could. But yeah, we're gonna have some brekkie now some fuel for the day and then you want? maybe it's strawberry okay great i'll yeah, look at step into the weekend i'm stuck inside the sequence here we are here's where we had the ceremony everything went well it's all i do hello guys so i've just gotten home from the wedding it was so good. It's currently 10.30. I left around 8.30, Brayden's still there because all the formalities were done by then, like the cake cutting, the first dance, the sunset shoot, all that jazz was completed. And so the rest of the night's just dancing and you don't really need two videographers to capture the dancing, one's enough. So I got to finish early, which is fantastic. And it's actually really good because I actually have work tomorrow at 8.30. So I was gonna finish the vlog here, but I might just continue the vlog till tomorrow because I'm actually in Sydney tomorrow night on a flight attendant trip. So yeah, I'll take you guys to Sydney. Why not? Good morning guys, it's the next day and as I said yesterday, I'm heading to Sydney today. We're doing three flights to get there. We're doing a Gold Coast return and then to Sydney. Finish around 6pm tonight, so I'll see you guys when I get to Sydney.
Hey guys, so I apologize for this part of the vlog. My microphone ended up having a heart attack and stopped working, so apologies. I've got no audio at all for this section of the video, but to be honest, I didn't really do much on this layover. I literally, like, just came into my room I like laid in my bed for like half an hour trying to figure out what room service I wanted to have and then I ended up ordering some room service I got a Caesar salad and some sweet potato wedges which were delicious although the Caesar salad did come with anchovies which I am not a fan of <laughs> and then I literally went to bed it was a pretty chill layover I literally didn't even step outside the room at all and then this is me in the morning the next day <laughs> all ready for work to start my day hope you enjoyed this little voiceover <laughs> Hey guys, so I literally just drove home. It's always good to come home after a trip. <laughs> to be honest, I was thinking about it. I can't remember the last time that I didn't leave the hotel room on a layover. Like I literally could not think of the last time that I didn't even step outside of the hotel room. But I am gonna wrap up this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little a few days in my life vlog. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.